friends, hello everyone! Today I invite you to look at this agile masked animal, and it's not a raccoon. A fast member of the weasel family and a very close relative of the weasel and ermine. Today we will look at the ferret in action. Get comfortable and let's get started. What do we need to know about ferrets? Ferrets reach a weight of one and a half kilograms and step ferrets even two kilograms. But these are males. And females are usually one and a half times smaller. They have an elongated body that allows for incredible flexibility. The paws of ferrets are small, but they are strong. In addition, they have sharp claws that allow them to climb trees or dig underground passages. But they rarely climb trees and even less often swim, although they also know how to do it. And he also has a very powerful grip, allowing literally his whole body to hang on prey, and they are very active. The color of the animals can vary from species and habitat, as often different species interbreed. Usually, the coloration is black, gray, brown, and you can only accurately identify these rogues by the dark mask over their eyes. The color helps to blend in with the environment and avoid encounters with predators, but they have another defense, and this is a biological weapon that is located in the glands under the tail and is activated in case of danger. Therefore, the ferret is an avid stinker, but this doesn't always save them. Let's see what ferrets are capable of in action. The speed of ferrets allows them to catch up with even fast squirrels. See how this animal grabbed a squirrel and doesn't let her out of his paws. But when the ferret saw the camera, he immediately dragged his prey into the hole away from prying eyes. Even a man in gloves can't free a squirrel from the teeth of such a predator, which is desperately resisting. He stubbornly tries to drag the squirrel into the hole. This ferret doesn't let go of its prey, even hanging in the air. And here, the step ferret attacked the yellow ground squirrel. The gopher tries to run away, but he can't escape from the clever ferret, and he knocked him to the ground. But the ground squirrel defends well and repels the attacking ferret, although the ground squirrel is smaller in size. The main thing for the ferret is to cling tightly to the prey in the neck, but he fails to do this. This is where the ferret makes the mistake of moving away from the prey, and the gopher immediately runs away. He is very lucky today. Usually, gophers can't outrun ferrets. No matter how they resist, in the end, the ferrets always turn out to be faster and catch up with them, and they only have to drag the prey to their hole. And here is another ferret that stumbled upon a gopher while exploring holes, but something immediately went wrong. Apparently, this is an experienced gopher who knows that the best defense is an attack, and he goes forward to the predator. The ferret doesn't understand what to do with such prey and prefers to run away, but the gopher doesn't let him go. He gives chase and drives the ferret away from his home. And we can only guess about the reasons for this behavior of the gopher. Ferrets are very brave and are never afraid of even larger enemies. For example, here a ferret attacked a hunting dog. She is much larger than the animal, but this doesn't bother him at all. The ferret violently tries to grab the dog's throat. And although an experienced dog does not allow the enemy to approach, we pay tribute to the ferret for his courage. Even reptiles don't frighten these little hunters. This snake climbed into a small hollow, 
but how can this scare away a hungry ferret? He fearlessly sticks his head inside and tries to get his lunch. The snake resists as best it can, but the ferret still pulls her out. And again, the lack of experience played a cruel joke with the ferret. He doesn't have time to quickly pull the snake from the water, which she immediately took advantage of, which is a pity. This dinner would last him a long time. Some unlucky ferrets come across to man today. At least this ferret managed to catch a rat and he immediately decided to show her to a man. And then he can run away with prey. And this ferret is talking a den of mice. And he does it so carefully that the mouse doesn't even know that she is being watched. This dog has also become the prey of ferrets and they need to hide such a large prey so that no one finds it. The ferrets find a hiding place for her, though not on the first try. But they don't understand what to do with this beast. It seems that they smell food, but needles interfere with getting closer to him. These ferrets will leave hungry, although they are not usually afraid of hedgehogs. But the uprising of the machines definitely doesn't threaten them. See how fearlessly and harmoniously these guys attack against such a robot. He doesn't stand a chance here. They are different. For example, two types of ferrets live in Russia. The forest ferret, also known as dark, and the steppe ferret, also known as light. There are also domestic ferrets, which were artificially bred and are a subspecies of the forest ferret. There is also the furro, an albino forest ferret. He is depicted in Leonardo da Vinci's painting Lady with an Ermine. The third and last species is the American or black-footed ferret, which lives, where do you think? In the North American continent. Looks like we got it right. An interesting story turned out with the American ferret. By 1937, he was completely exterminated in Canada, and in America, he became an endangered species. However, in the 1980s, the last known wild population of 18 animals was caught, and they began to use it to restore numbers. And now, you can often see how caring people raise and return ferrets to their natural habitat. And if someone from the ferret family doubts, then it can be transported like that. By the way, they are very fond of running in cramped and narrow spaces. They like to climb into some small pipe that people use with success then the transition will be faster. The animals eat well, so with their size, they overtook not only tiny weasels, but also ermines, becoming the largest representatives of their kind. In the wild, ferrets live only three to four years, although they can live up to 10 years in captivity. But even in such a short time, their population can increase greatly because females bring offspring every year, starting from the first year of life. From 4 to 20 10-gram puppies are born, depending on the number of births the female has. The mom takes care of the cubs, feeds them, and protects them. For example, today she brought to her cubs a large and tasty prey a rabbit. But maternal happiness doesn't last long, and after six months, the cubs become adults and disperse to live on their own. 
the ferret spends a lot of time in a dream despite its activity. Moreover, they fall into a very deep sleep, and it is very difficult to wake them up. This is necessary so that they can rest and recover from strong excitement during wakefulness. You may get the feeling that the ferret is dead, but no, he's just sleeping. As benefits a nocturnal predator, they wake up closer to darkness. However, the ferret can go hunting during the day if he failed to get food at night. They eat a lot. It can be small insects, lizards, snakes, rodents, and birds. A ferret will never pass a bird's nest without checking it out. Often, these robbers appear in villages. After such visits, people usually lose poultry. True, they still need to get to it. The ferret is always very careful and accurate. Often, they manage to bypass the set traps. See how cleverly the ferret has covered the trap with a lid, and now it will not work. Ferrets are notorious for their bloodthirstiness, and they usually don't leave until they've killed all the birds. By the way, the animals don't eat plant foods due to the peculiarities of their digestion, but the ferret can get nutrition from fruits by eating small herbivores. And the favorite food of ferrets is hares, rabbits, ground squirrels, and prairie dogs. At the same time, their long body is perfectly adapted for hunting in rabbit holes, and ferrets there feel like a fish in water. We get the feeling that they are able to crawl through even the narrowest passage. They are often taken hunting with them in order to catch rabbits. For example, a rabbit maze looks like this. It is a network of underground tunnels with many entrances and exits. And before hunting, people must first place nets everywhere so that the rabbits don't run away and then release the ferret. The ferret deftly runs underground and drives the rabbits to the surface, where they fall into the net. Up to 20 rabbits can be caught from one such maze. And so that the ferret is not lost, a special collar is hung on him, allowing him to be found underground. They hunt rats and mice well, surpassing even cats in this. And in the Middle Ages, people often used ferrets for this purpose. And now sometimes you can find domestic ferrets. They no longer catch mice, but their rivalry with the cat is on a subconscious level, and these two animals will never just pass by each other. Some particularly delinquent cats are even punished by bathing with ferrets. Dogs also suffer from such pets. And ferrets love to play by biting each other. They have very thick skin, and such bites don't harm them, but dogs have to endure such impudence. If you liked the video, do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel, because your activity motivates us to create new interesting videos. Thank you for your attention, and see you soon.